Hello Sari stars, how are things going on in your Sari world? Today I'm here to share with you some very beautiful, colourful, vibrant, pleasing on the eyes saris. These are all embroidered saris and they are Lambani embroidered saris. Now to give you a background about Lambani saris, the Lambani tribe is said to have migrated from Afghanistan towards Rajasthan and eventually they have settled down in different parts of India like Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan, Gujarat and Maharashtra. So the saris that I am going to present today are done by our women artisans based out of Bellary in Karnataka. Now Lampani embroidery comprises of a variety of stitches. There are some 14 or 15 different stitches and they are done in different colours. Most prominent amongst them being red, blue and green colours. So these are done on a variety of fabrics. It could be dupatta, stole, saris, blouses, even jewellery. So it's become very popular just due to the sheer vibrancy and the colourfulness and the intricateness of the embroidery. So if you see, you know, this sari, for example, what I'm wearing, it's got a whole lot of, uh, you know, stitches. So you have some half moon shaped designs. Then you have some zigzag, zigzag uh, designs. Then you have all over work, which has been filled in. So it's just a visual delight. If you see the sari like this, it's like, you know, completely breathtaking, fully adorned pallu. And it makes a simple sari also stand out, you know, with this kind of embroidery. So the first sari I'm going to present to you today is done on irkal. This is a cotton irkal. The body of the sari is cotton in black and it's got blue checks. So the checks are in blue. The base is black and the body of the sari is cotton. The blue checks are formed by silk threads. The borders are silk cotton and the pallu is in ration that is silk. So this irkal sari is woven in Karnataka. And here what we have done is we have matched Lambani embroidery onto a sari woven in Karnataka itself. So this is bringing together two art forms from Karnataka. The Irkal sari woven in Karnataka with Lambani embroidery again done in Karnataka. Now if you see how beautiful the sari is. Right. So it, the pallu is just breathtaking. So Lambani embroidery uses, uses a variety of stitches like running stitch, blanket stitch, herringbone stitch. Sometimes you find, you know, the kind of embroidery which used to be there on our, uh, which little girls wear on frocks, like, you know, the smocking kind of pattern. So it's a combination of various kinds of things. Sometimes mirrors are also used to add more glitter to the sari. And overall, the colors and the kind of, you know, uh, depth of the embroidery, the kind of detailing which is done, makes it a unique sari and something that you know every sari lover would want to own at least one Lambani sari in their wardrobe. Now if you see the borders of this Irkal sari you can see that it has been adorned with Lambani embroidery like this. Right and the body of the sari has all these circular motifs which are embroidered. So this is the full view of the sari, the way the sari and the pallu will look. And this is a very long sari because these irkal saris traditionally used to be worn by uh, village women in Karnataka, in the Navari style or the nine yards, Madisar kind of style which was which is popular in Karnataka and Maharashtra. So the length of the sari is almost seven meters. So you can cut the length of the sari as much as you need and the rest you can make a long sleeve blouse or you know you can even make two blouses depending on your size. You can mix and match with some other fabric. So you can use some creative idea and see what you can do with the long sari. So if you see the embroidery is done right till the end, inner end which gets tucked in. And this portion is the blouse piece of the sari. This is a traditional irkal kind of you know blouse. So this is our first pick for you today. The color is very beautiful. The blue and the embroidery and all the stitches, the colors, it's just a visual delight. Something that you know, you'll really feel nice to own. The next sari today I have is my personal favorite because pink happens to be one of my favorite colors. And it's on a base sari also, which I am a fan of, that is the Kanjigaram. So this is a Lambani embroidered Kanjivaram silk sari. 
in a beautiful pleasing shade of baby pink with deep pink grids on the body so the base saree is a kanjivaram silk in pure silk pure zari all the kanjivaram sarees that we sell have pure zari just for your information so this is a light pink or baby pink saree with deep pink grids and the pallu is in a beautiful plum color and it's fully adorned with this lambani embroidery so this is a collector's piece and it will you will be the you know top of the party wherever you wear this and go i mean people are bound to ask hey this is a beautiful saree what kind of embroidery is this or what kind of saree is this so it's a conversation starter basically so it's a really nice saree really pretty and it's got these beautiful embroidered motifs on the body lambani embroidery done and you can see the borders the borders are also embroidered so one thing is all the lambani embroidered sarees we have we pay a lot of attention to detail so you will find that you know the embroidery is done densely across the pallu it's not just you know some sparingly done kind of design and if you see the motifs will run all through the body right till the inner end right so you can see right till the blouse fabric begins this embroidery is there this is the embroidered blouse fabric of the saree and if you see the outer end also the embroidery is there till the portion that gets tucked in and on the lower end if you see the embroidery is there on both sides right right till the innermost end we have the embroidery so that is the kind of detailing that we pay attention to when we do embroidered sarees we just don't do embroidery here and there like that but we make sure that when you own a piece of embroidered saree from kalpavastu it's something you will surely be proud to have in your collection so this is our second pick for you today the next saree i have is for tasar lovers now this again is a confluence of two art forms so this is a tasar saree on which we have done tie and dye arashi shibori now the shibori work has been done in rajasthan right in jaipur and in a piece in a combination a vivid combination of blue and green like this green at the top and blue in between and varying shades in the middle so this is the kind of shibori that has been done and it's done by hand the shibori work is completely hand done and it's a hand crafted tasar sari and on top of that we have done we have added another layer that is the lambani embroidery layer so we have done these beautiful circular motifs that you see here on the pallu and then we have done these star kind of motifs right so the pallu has been adorned with lambani embroidery like this and the body again has these motifs the borders have also been embroidered so this is something you will find in all our embroidered sarees that you know the embroidery on the lower border runs right till the end of the saree and then you have the blouse fabric in navy blue with embroidery so this is a very soft tasser not difficult to drape up, drape at all very nice flow very easy to drape very comfortable saree and it's very vivid and very colorful so if you are one who loves blue green colors then this saree is for you because it's very easy to drape very comfortable and it is a a, a saree which is having a confluence of two things and it's one of my favorite sarees too i love green i love blue i think most of you know by now so this is a saree which i personally love the next saree i have is in a very traditional combination of yellow and red manjal kunguvam combination in kanjivaram silk the base of the saree is yellow a turmeric yellow so this is the beautiful yellow sari and it's got all over kattam kattam means chips it's got all over kattam in red the pallu of the sari is a festive kumkum color a red color and it's adorned with these lambani motifs you have some diamond shaped motifs then you have these circular motifs right there are various names given to these motifs like kans kodi right but it's basically a combination of various kinds of embroidery various kinds of stitches 
which we have learnt in school, right? Some of those stitches are also there in this saree. And uh, the body again has these circular, beautiful Lambani embroidery. The borders have the embroidery too, as you can see here. Okay. So this is the full sari, and this is the inner end of the sari. So, like I said, the embroidery goes right till the inner end on the lower border, and then you have the red blouse fabric with embroidery. So, this yellow and red is a favorite combination for many. It's considered an auspicious combination, also haldi kumkum, manjal kumkum combination. So, this is our next pick for you today. So, this is how the Sari looks. So it's just grand, simply beautiful sari. And this also I love a lot. I mean, I love all the saris because I love Lambani embroidery a lot. I think it makes the sari look very vivid and colorful and grand. So this is our next pick for you today. So for all the saris I have presented to you today. The blouses can be made from the running fabric which is given along with the sari, because I feel they add that beauty, that charm and they make the whole uh, you know, outfit complete when you wear it with its own embroidered blouse. But you can always feel free to mix and match with any other blouse you may already have in a particular color which you think goes nice with the sari. I hope you liked our presentation today of Lambani embroidered beautiful saris. All these are conceptualized and designed by Kalpo Astana, so we call it KV exclusive and all these sarees are available to purchase directly from our website www.kalpoastana.com. If you have any queries regarding the purchase or regarding the sarees, please feel free to reach us on WhatsApp 9769971513 or you can reach us on Messenger via Instagram or Facebook. Thank you for watching this video. Please share it with your friends and family if you liked it. And please stay tuned. I'll be back with more stories and more videos. Till then, take care and bye.